Hello everybody and welcome to the Obscure Toy Files. I am your host, Chris Boglin-Negri, and today we are continuing Battle Trolls Month. Battle Trolls are out of control. Get it? Control? <laughs> Hasbro, you're so witty. <laughs> anyway, so we're continuing Battle Trolls Month here on the Obscure Toy Files blog and the YouTube channel. So today we're going to continue our Series 3 Battle Trolls coverage with... My childhood Wolfman Troll. Uh, him since I was a kid. He's been played with well, but not as much as the other ones I'd had, because he was newer. Um, and again, again so I have from a childhood, I don't have the card bubble, but I have the card back. Where you can see how much this bad boy cost me. Yeah, these things used to be 8 bucks at KB. I got, them th I got him for 3 for 5 so I paid like $3.40 for him, probably, after tax. But, yeah, they went for a lot of money. Typically, the, the rule I noticed with KB Toys is that whatever KB's charging, it's $2 less than Toys R Us, at least back then. So, like, back in the 90s, you can get Ninja Turtle figures for $4.99, and you go to KB, and you find them for $6.99. And that was just, the, or $3.99 and $5.99. It was just generally the rule of things, the way it worked. So, I only grabbed him back then. He was the only Series 3 character I got until, you know, we now know. I got Jack Kostrol. A quick draw troll the other day from eBay. So that was good to kind of get a little further along in the Series 3 finally after years of having just this one guy. Uh, we'll take a look at him real quick before I look at his bio card and stuff. He's got black hair. And again, the hair isn't very loose, but it's not, it's not as mad as the other ones because he's a little head banging. <laughs> you know. He's got blue eyes. He's got a cool, like, underbite, furry uh, details, pointed ears. He's wearing, like, a torn up, like, Flannel shirt, it's all orange. You can see like his hunched back sticking out. He's got like his he's got like a what the term is digigrade, where the legs kinda go like which is really cool that they did that extra touch. Um again, he turns the waist because battle trolls are so articulated. But he's not too bad because the angle of that cut means he goes up a little more like this. So you, you kinda wiggle off a couple more extra poses. Um he's got his hands and his feet painted brown. He's got a little torn spot on his Pants right here. Uh, it's, he has a rope belt. Maybe, 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 blah, 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 blah. maybe you can see that. Um, but that's it for the detail. I mean, they really didn't do a lot of extra hidden things like we've seen in the other two figures from Series Three. I guess mostly because he's just a werewolf. And kind of, you, you, what do you have to do to a werewolf except make it a really good looking werewolf? He comes with two accessories. He comes with a spiked bear trap on a chain on a handle, and this is like a rubbery material, like. It's very pliable, like it's very, very soft. Like you, you probably could tear it if you wanted to, but it's, it's not hard. Like it's very, I guess it's to help you know mimic the look of the chains. Like it's all floppy. It wiggles around. And it comes with a tombstone, rest in peace, uh, launcher that shoots. What else? Well, a dog biscuit. Because what, what else would a you know a dog shoot? This actually works much better than any of the other guys. I mean. Jack Castrol's one as you watched me, let me struggle with it for like five minutes. Oh, sorry. sorry nice, nice doggy troll thing. But actually, this one works really well. It goes right in the back as a little hole. It only really lowered one way. I mean, you could put it the other way, but then it looks kind of weird. It's like a bone sticking out of it. <laughs> but I guess no more weird than a tombstone that shoots bones. I mean, we're kind of having some sort of a suspension of disbelief when you're looking at battle trolls. All right, so basically, you just take his accessories. You're going to put him in his hand. Now his hands are very tight. Like the, the opening is very large. So typically I always put the tombstone in this hand. Or at least attempt to. I haven't played with him in a long time, so maybe his hands kind of softened up. There we go. You hear that? Jesus. <laughs> that is tight. Oh. Yeah, it's not coming out. <laughs> that, but that's the other thing, too. Is like they made this. It's kind of awkward because he can't really... Again, because of the articulation, he can't really shoot it. You kind of have to like turn him over, put it this way, and then like, then you can't flick it. So it's like, I got my tombstone bone launcher and I'm going to shoot at the ground. Because that ground's always sneaking up on me. Crap. Um, so that doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really work that well. But yeah, it falls out of his hands. And also the paint will rub off, just so you're aware. I've had it happen a couple. My uh, Franken troll has brown on his face because it was rubbed off from him. But his uh, little bear trap accessories, I struggled to put it in on the camera. His little thing, this actually that fits in his hand pretty well, and you can kind of whip it around. 
getting kind of like turned this way. Be like, but also you can even just go without his weapons if you choose not to, because he's a he's he's a he's a freaking werewolf. He doesn't need to have a weapon. He is a weapon. But this thing basically doesn't really work the way it's supposed to. Because it's, you know, it's just it's such a pain in the neck with some of these. Because you really want them to be great, and they're just, they're just like fell short. I mean, like you kind of if you switch it around and put it in this hand, it might work a little better. You can see me struggling with it. It's not even like <laughs> this, these these things do not accept it easily. They, they they fight you every step of the way. I mean, like again, you can put it this way, or you can be constantly. And you can see that's the thing too. When, once you turn it, it falls out. So it's a pain in the neck. You get to actually do what you wanted to do with it. Oh my god! Why is this such a pain in my good frasm? No good. Like I said, they really didn't... I think they really had two different design teams on this line. One for the accessories and one for the figure. Because the two of them never spoke. <laughs> it's kind of like, I mean, these will be great accessory weapons for them. They can't hold them in his hands or shoot them. It's like, why Why would you do that? So I was like, yeah, like I said, you can't even push it back all the way. But you can kind of flick it. Not really? No, okay. Or... If you want to just take the bone and leave it aside, you can use it as a shield. That would work pretty well. You just kind of put it here like that, and you can just kind of go, or you can just throw it and hit people with it. You can kind of hold it as like a cudgel if you want, right as his hand isn't too stretched out. And you can fit it like there. No, you can't even do that. Oh, such a shame. All right, so wolf, Wolfman Trolls, crappy accessories aside, that I apparently forgot about. Let's look at his... Bio card, which I will try my best to show you guys a good shot of without having to get my fingers in it. This has been clipped off. It says, Wolfman Troll, before you pet Wolfman Troll, be forewarned. He hasn't had his shots. Suffering from hookworms, tapeworms, rabies, and distemper, Wolfie has been refused treatment by veter veterinarians all over North America. He is the mortal enemy of all cats and mailmen and fears nothing except the prospect of being locked in a station wagon and driven through a car wash. Horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically his thing. And you can see Wolfman Troll. Ooh. And Hasbro logo. Ding. But yeah, that, that's basically him. Is that much? This review is much shorter than the other ones because, again, I wasn't taking enough bubbles. But, I, you know, I, I, have no, I have no problem with him as a kid. I mean, I used to use his accessories. I mean, you, you can kind of like just like move their arm. Actually, wow, well, I can't even do that. God, he's, look at that. I guess because he's so old. It's the other thing too. When they're not being played with, they're in a bubble. They're, you know, their time will run out. And that's one of the things I think is so funny about people who collect lines very, very hardcorely. <laughs> you can see where I circled all the characters I wanted. I actually even wrote it on the back. Apparently, we have halves or circles, and not circles or ones. What the hell was I doing? Oh, I guess black and blue. Why did I even do? Yeah, okay. Uh, past Chris, you screwed up. All right. So apparently, I wanted. Ace Troll, Wolfman Troll, and the Troll Smith Wrestler. I didn't even want him. I, I didn't even want the Quick Draw Troll. I knew I should have got him on eBay. See, even my past self was like, don't, don't get Quick Draw Troll. Get him. Um, but no, actually, I, I like him. He's pretty good. But um, yeah, then one of the things that's funny is that you know toys do have a finite lifespan. They won't last forever. It's potentially, eventually, eventually, the plastics they're made out of will break down, and they will either get really hard and rigid, or they'll just get gooey and fall apart, or... Now, this thing was made in 1993. It is now 2016. This thing is 23 years old. When my son is old enough to play with this at the same age I am, he'll be much, much older than that. We're looking like 50-something years. This, is thing, this thing has been around. That's crazy. I mean, toys weren't meant to last forever, so... I mean, they, I don't know how, like... I can buy, I can get the toys that I had as a kid and give them to my son to play with, but my son will be able to get the toys that I had as a kid and give to his son to play with. I don't even think they'll be around then. Unless they make reproductions in the future, but who the heck knows. Um, yeah, so we have Wolfman Troll. We'll take his card back out of the way. And his cool bio card. And I'll show him along with his other wave mates. Maybe I'm going to try to put this in his... A bonus, though, it does stand up on its own. So, you could just do that. Maybe have him hold the bone. Oh, he can hold the bone. All right, there we go. We, we solved the problem, everybody. He'll just hit people with the bone, hit him with the other thing, and then I can just be background dressing to add to it. It looks nice. So, there we have Wolfman Troll, and we have Jack Coos Troll, and we have Quick Draw Troll. 
go ahead and turn it so we can stand up right. So there are Series 3 Battle Trolls. Now we're going to have one more review this month. And we're going to wrap it up with a one of the vehicles. Because they weren't really, actually, not really vehicles, one of the deluxe, deluxe things. The line never really got to vehicles and playsets and stuff. They made a capture net with a tr uh, repaint of the troll clops, and then they made the trollosaurus with a repaint of uh, one of the viking trolls, I think, named Sven Troll. We'll be reviewing him next time, so stay tuned for that. It'll be pretty awesome, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying Battle Troll Month. It'll be fun to wrap this up, and hopefully we'll dip back into this line at some point in the future as we get more pieces. But they look pretty cool all sitting there together. I definitely think it's a culmination of many years. And it's funny, you look at the back of this packaging, it's like... So different compared to what you actually got. Like, even Wolfman Troll's outfit's slightly different. Like, it's red and blue. You know, I think the orange, I think, looks a lot... I can see the colors. There you go. Actually, it worked out good. I think the final one looks much better than that. I like this color a lot better. This actually looks more Halloween-y in a way than that does. Which I wonder if that was accidental or not. Maybe, maybe that's why I like him so much. He's like a Halloween troll. Very cool. All right, everybody. Again, this is Chris from the Obscure Toy Files. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can get more reviews as we do them. And make sure to check the blog for written reviews and pictures. And also to keep watching them because they're fun and I like doing them. <laughs> make sure you guys grab some battle trolls out, out there in eBay lands if you can or if you find them in your toy hunting. You won't be disappointed. They are fun to play with, albeit their lack of articulation to some extent. But again, it doesn't. it's not an end game for any of them. Like they're definitely cool toys. The sculpts alone are worth looking at. So if you're a guy that's like putting them on your shelf and not playing with them, you might not have a problem with it. But if you like to pose them a little bit, you, you're kind of limited. A little, 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 a little limited. <laughs> Alright. That's it for us. Let's say goodbye, everybody. And we'll see you guys next time. Sounds good. Peace out. Yo. Battle trolls everywhere.